Well, frozen CPU here. Something I've been waiting to bring to your attention is this. Wait, really? Is this what it is? Frozen CPU here. We're today to talk to you about a new fan. Well, it's not really a new fan. It's been around for quite some time. Uh, anyway, I can finally make a video on this fan. It is not that little fan there. It is this slightly larger fan here. Alright, looking at the XSPC 5 volt addressable RGB 120 mil 2200 RPM fan. Boom! Uh, I'm very excited about this, but I haven't really been able to test it here in the office because when this was released um, a few months back, the problem is you needed a motherboard which had a 5 volt addressable header on it. That was the only way to control it. Uh, I tried many ways to get these to work. Couldn't do it. Finally, XSPC, like their 12 volt addressable stuff, has released a 5 volt controller, a little SATA controller. This now gives me the ability to control this fan. Uh, you can power up to two fans off this. But also today I have for you XSPC's 5 volt addressable hub. I believe this gives you up to eight fans. All right, so let's get into the box, see what we can do with these. All right, so how does this all work, you might be asking yourself. Well, let's take a look at what we got. Got a PWM fan, nicely sleeved cables, I might add. Uh, of course, you have three of four pins on your connector, okay? On the controller, you have two headers with that three-pin connector, so that means off this $10 RGB controller, you can control two fans effectively uh, without a motherboard. All right. So that's two of these guys. You might be saying to yourself, well, what if I have a 360 radiator or something? I want more fans. That's when you get into this RGB hub. You now have access to four fans on each side. Uh, you might be saying to yourself, well, but if I just plug the fans in and power the the uh, the hub, it doesn't automatically control the RGB of my fans, they still won't work. Well, using this $10 controller, all right, if you go ahead and use SATA power, if you power the hub off your power supply, take your controller and leave the power off from your controller, uh, basically what you're going to do is take the back side, all right, which has a cable that looks like this. On the opposite side of the SATA, you have a cable that looks like this. All right, you have a female 5 volt addressable header, and then you have the kind of um, JST style power connector for the hub. All right, power the hub. Do not power the 12 volt controller. Uh, take one of the headers from the 12 volt controller and go ahead and connect that right into the hub. All right and then plug your RGB fan into that hub, this controller will now control all of the fans on the hub. All right. Again, please do not use any 12 volt stuff around this 5 volt stuff. It's going to cause a short, something's going to stop working, and it's going to void your warranty. Now, will it hurt to use a 5 volt on a 12 volt? I don't know. It's probably not a good idea, but I don't think it'll damage it quite as bad as those 12 volts going into this 5 volt addressable. So anyway, you got the hub, they come in black, they come in white. Uh, there's an instruction manual in here, however this manual and this hub was made before the controller was produced. If you go on XSP's website, it does say the controller is compatible with the hub. Alright, so this isn't just something I made up, uh, it does work. So that's how to do it. Finally, we can get uh, up to 8 fans off that hub, 5 volt addressable without a motherboard header. Right, these fans look great, in my opinion. Um, the modes are not as intricate. There's really only two actual RGB modes. There's this guy here, uh, which is just kind of like, uh, what does Razer call that? That's like a wave type deal. And then you're looking at a different wave. All right. Then you go into like single color waves. Wow, this camera does not pick up these colors as nicely. All right, 
there's another wave. What I like on here is going to be the circular pattern. Let me get to those. I like those. All right. So you get that going. All right, using the center button, which is called demo, you can adjust the speed of these modes, all right? You can get it going pretty quick, or you can slow it right down, all right? So the demo is going to adjust the speed. I think it may adjust the brightness on some of the modes, and then you have forward and back, all right? So there you have it. That's the uh, XSPC RGB fans. They are 2200 RPM PWM, nicely sleeved cables. Um, they're pretty powerful static pressure fans, so they're gonna actually work well. They have nice rubber dampening. Uh, I'm already using these on a radiator at home and the performance is great. Noise-wise, they're not the quietest, but they're not loud either. Uh, very easy to turn these down. I mean, 800 to 2200 is a pretty good range. So anyway, you can pick up all three of these components here at FrozenCPU.com. I believe the fans were selling these for about somewhere in the $20 range. The 5-volt uh, controller is $10. And I think the hub is uh, somewhere between, between $10 and $20. Bucks. Can't remember off the top of my head. guess you're going to have to go onto the website and take a look. www.FrozenCPU.com. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Have a nice day.